so there is already a part three for this because I found out an update real quick. Um, this will be short and sweet and to the point, but I'm still going to make it like its own episode. It'll just be like a short episode. So today's episode for the whole thing that happened on my life of Friday the 13th, part three, this may be the final part. There may be updates in the future. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide how this stuff is all going to go. We're going to call this the website issue. Create world. Let's see. Let's see what this world give us. Giveth us or taketh awayeth. So this one I don't actually have a script written for uh, because it's it's a short update, but I still wanted to make a video about it and talk about it and kind of explain some, uh, those were dolphins, and kind of explain some WordPress-y stuff about it. So the website for the company I worked for, long story short, if you haven't seen part one and part two, I recommend watching them to catch yourself up on what all this is or what all this is about. Long story short, though, if you want the synopsis, there was an old man and a young man running a business together. I worked for them. There was a disagreement on how the website should be run. I knew I was right due to somebody telling me that has made hundreds of websites and they're all very successful uh, with like hundreds of thousands of views, um, you know, on average every day because he just made them for companies that, you know, get that number of views every day. Um, he told me that everything I was doing was right. And these guys I worked for told me, um, <clears throat> taught me, sorry, to believe in myself and actually stick up for myself when I know I'm right, which is not something I used to do very well. So this was and then what ended up happening on the next day. So that was all Friday the 13th. I was getting verbally um, threatened as well as physically, uh, kind of physically threatened where the old man was like charging at me and had to be literally pushed out of the office and away from me to cool his head off. Um, on the next day, uh, I got a text message that the old man was going to go to the local police because he wanted to possibly press charges and find out if I hacked the website or not. I was the webmaster. I created the website from the ground up, but I had not touched the website in like 16 or 17 hours at that point because I was with a friend after work, after everything that went down. And the only reason I had touched my computer was to download some movies um, that we were watching while we were hanging out and just relaxing because it had been a stressful day and that's what I needed. And, you know, she's an amazing friend. That's what she did for me and you know I explained that to him and I was off the hook but they still are begging for my help to restore this website so what happened to the website well it broke it broke heavily the very first time they touched it on their own uh, what basically ended up happening is all pictures and media were removed from the website um, as well as every page or every post I had ever made was set to draft status. So it could not be viewed unless it was moved back to publish status. What that actually ends up meaning is the very first time they touched the website, it was broken and they did it themselves. Well, they had already decided to involve the police department in this because they had threatened uh, legal action if I didn't restore the website because they believe, well, the old man believes I did it on purpose when it was actually all them. It was all their fault. The very first time they touch the website, it breaks. The very first time they do anything with the website without me, it breaks. So let me explain what happened to their website. And I tested this theory with my own WordPress website, and it is 100% true. I can prove it. So let me pause this real quick, and I'm actually going to do exactly what happened to their website. So on WordPress, if you have an account that is an administrator, I'm going to create one real quick. I just need display capture. There we go. I'm going to create one real quick. We'll call it TechX Test. And let's say the password is test123. Oh, 123 this and confirm use of weak password just because this isn't actually going to be anything of use 
so you go add new user. Oh. Uh, we'll just do it to one of my spares. So you basically, if you have a user that is an admin. What did I make that password? What did I make that password? I already forgot. ABC123 dollar sign. There we go. So basically, if you're on WordPress and you have an account that is admin and it creates pages or posts or it uploads any media. So let's add some media. This is an interactive story time video. We're going to add a few pictures here. We're going to add this one, this one, and uh, this one. So we'll add three pictures here. And then on top of that, we'll like create a post. ABC123 test post. <clears throat> and we'll publish it. And then we go back and we also make a page. Do 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 ABC1234. BC1234. Four five. Oh, it's a it's got a five. Publish. There we go. So now we have pages and uh, these are published pages with a published post um, and there's some media uploaded and this is all uploaded by the uh, by TechX test. So if I go over on TechX and I go media library, I'll see the things that TechX test uploaded. Um, it doesn't say a user. It does say uploaded by, and then if you go to like the post and stuff like that, you'll see um, uploaded by or created by. But with the TechX account, this is my other admin account. Let's say I go in and I delete TechX test. This is what happened on the company I worked for's website that they thought it was hacked and they thought I did it on purpose. This is what they did delete right here they did delete all content instead of attribute to another user they did delete all content and hit confirm deletion that deletes everything this account ever did and if i try to do anything as techx test say all posts i'm immediately kicked out because the account doesn't exist so i'm logged out if I go to media and I look at library, those images are gone. If I go to posts and I look at all posts, that post is gone. It's in the bin right here. If I go to pages and I look at pages, that page is gone. It is in the bin because the person who created it, the user account no longer exists. That's what happened on the other companies website that I worked for that they tried to blame me for hacking it. They did it themselves. And I wanted to make this video to, you know, basically have as a public access video just in case, you know, something happened and I can just pull up a public link and say, this is what happened with video proof of what happened because supposedly police are involved and it's pointless to have police involved when it's something that's your own fault. So I've already explained to them that this is what caused the issue. I don't know if they believe me or not, but this is video proof that it's exactly what happened. And uh, now the only way to get all that stuff back up and the web page back to its former glory is to restore a backup. And they are very lucky they have one because I deleted all my backups. And I don't think there were any backups on Google Drive on an external hard drive they had, on a computer they owned, um, or anything like that. I had deleted all the backups I had, and then we remembered there was another web page still up that could be used to make a backup. 
out of the kindness of my heart, even though I do not work for these people anymore, I worked with the young guy from this company who I'd very much like to see succeed. And I created a backup for him on the other website that they forgot about, created a backup of that website, which was borderline a cookie cutter version of their website, um, created a backup, sent it to him and recorded a video on how to restore it. So if that's not, you know, something out of good faith, I don't know what is, but uh, I wanted to still have this video up to show what happened and not incriminate myself <laughs> because this is what happened and I don't want there to be false evidence out there or something like that that they can prove otherwise. So, you know, this was part three. Hopefully this is the final part and there isn't a part four to this. But uh hope you guys are enjoying the story time with Tech X because uh, my life is full of fun. Just wait until I still tell the story about working for Sprint or the pizza shop or when I moved and quit my job to live with my ex-fiance. That was a mistake. There's a lot of things. <laughs> There's a lot of things to keep this... uh series going but i hope you guys enjoyed the little update and i really hope there's no more to this but i'll talk to you guys later peace out